Most people think that seven-seater MPVs are a little bit boring, but the Ford S-Max has been designed to shatter that preconception. But while it's good looking on the outside, and pretty stylish here on the inside as well, the S-Max is gonna be practical enough for most families. I mean, look how much room I've got, and there's three genuine chairs here for adults. It doesn't matter if you get the middle one either, because there's a completely flat floor, you get a good view out, and as with the other seats, you can even slide it and recline it far enough that, well, I've probably just gone out of shot. Don't worry, I'm still here. And let's go check out the front. There's plenty of practicality here in the front of the S-Max as well, as I'll illustrate now with a big bottle going into the side door bin, a mobile phone going into a secret cubby, a bottle going into the cup holder. Well, actually, I can put it into the central cubby because it's that big. And a reasonable size glove box. As for quality, well, there's lots of nice soft touch materials here in the cabin. You get some on the top of the dash, but that's not too surprising. But what is, is you get it all the way down here, which is nice. Standard equipment is impressive as well. All cars get Bluetooth for your mobile phone, dual zone climate control, and all round parking sensors. There's lots of safety kit as well, including an airbag for the driver's knee. In the S-Max, you sit a little bit lower than you do in other MPVs, and that helps make it feel a bit more car-like. Don't worry though, the seating position is still high enough to let you see over normal cars. And overall, the visibility is good. You've got big windows, this handy quarter light there means there's not much of a blind spot when you're pulling out at junctions, and I really like the panoramic roof because it just lets light flood into the cabin. The best thing about the S-Max though is the way it drives because it handles way better than any other MPV. In fact, it, it's genuinely good fun and I'm not lying at all, it is. And you have to be a little bit careful when you get on a twisty road such as this because you can get a little bit carried away and forget what type of car you're in until your children wake up crying and your wife starts shouting at you for driving like an idiot. But when you slow down, things will soon start to calm down and everyone will eventually go back off to sleep again because the ride's really comfortable. It's very quiet here in the cabin. I mean, the only complaint is the fact that at higher speeds, the bluff sides mean you do get a bit more wind noise than with a normal saloon. And that brings me on to the downsides. If you need to carry six passengers regularly, you may be better off with a more boxy MPV as the rearmost seats in the S-Max are so low that it feels as though you're sitting on the floor. And while the boot is big and all the chairs fold down for more space, they don't do so quite as neatly as in a Seat Alhambra. Finally, there's the price, because the S-Max is rather expensive, especially when you compare it to a Citroen C4 Grand Picasso. That said, it is larger and it is better equipped. And like I said before, it's the least MPV-like of all the MPVs. And I mean that in a good way.